Hi everybody, this is David from Newton Girls Who Code. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to GitHub, a service that lets you store your files in the cloud, which means not here on your local machine. It's very convenient to have your files in the cloud so that you can code from anywhere you want. So I'll talk about what is GitHub. I'll tell you about browsing an existing repository of code in GitHub. Then we'll talk about signing into GitHub and using GitHub's web page to make changes. This is a very basic and cumbersome way to do things, so in the next video, I'll tell you about how to use PyCharm and GitHub together. Here we go. So GitHub is a service operated with a website, and you can find that website at www.github.com or just without the Ws, plain old github.com. I have an organization at GitHub which maintains a repository called Newton GWC, the Newton Girls Who Code repositories. So if you navigate to there with your browser, adding Newton GWC to the URL, you'll see various sets of code. Code from this year's Tuesdays group, other examples, administrative, and so forth. If I click into the Tuesdays group, you'll find a bunch of directories. These belong to different members of the club, and here's mine, DM. If I click there, I'll find mini projects and a bunch of code including, for example, this names program, which might look a little familiar. We wrote something like that in the previous video. The important thing to note here is that there's a whole bunch of code, and it's all files that are public to anybody. I didn't have to sign in or do anything fancy. I just had to know that Newton GWC was a thing within GitHub where code was stored. This is public to the world. Anyone can see it. Of course, if you would like to make changes, then you do need to sign in. So here I will sign in to GitHub, and it will ask me for my name and password. I've uh, pre-entered them in the past, so my browser remembers them, so I can just hit sign in. And now it knows that I'm signed in, and I can make some changes. So I'll go to my directory and mini projects, and perhaps names.python, and I'll add a comment here. So I can use this little edit button here in this corner to edit this file. And I'll add some comment that says, maybe I'll put it right here. I'll say, uh, print out a greeting 10 times. So that explains what's happening. And now if I scroll down to the bottom, I can uh, commit the changes, that means make them permanent, and so I'll say adds a comment to the loop, and I'll write a little bit more here, not really needed, but I like to talk. And now I can commit, and don't worry about the rest of these, we'll talk about that later. Right now we'll just click the thing that says commit changes, and now in this uh, window, you see my new comment is here. So you can change things, and we won't use this web interface most of the time. We'll usually use a different way of changing things because I can't actually run the code. GitHub only lets me store files. It doesn't let me run the code. So that's how you use GitHub from the web client, but I will show you a better way to do it if you actually want to run the code using GitHub to store your different versions along the way. Bye now.